All right, YouTubers, here's what kind of a before, after, and during pictures. I never took any videos of this, so I did take a bunch of pictures, so we're just going to walk through it and kind of show you the stages of what it took to get to this stage right here. This is the finished product. Pictures are going to scroll through, and you'll see everything as it was being built. So we're taking the boulders and the stones from the property here. we got to find a septic tank, which is right in front of the bucket of the machines. You can see the septic tank here. And we're tying in the septic line. You can see the trench there because on the other side of the house, they're building an art studio. So we need to be able to connect that building septic system into this septic system so it can go into the drain field. You can see we got it plumbed in, tied in here. We had to sink it down so that it had about five feet of cover over the line to prevent freezing from the frost in the snow in the winter months here and we installed the risers for the septic tank so they can be easily accessed for service if they ever need to be and then we know right where they're at too so we had to be careful about these septic systems see we're back going on the trench good clean sand right there so here's some of the boulders we found that one's probably a 3,000 pounder we found all the boulders for this part of the project on site this one right here was way up in the woods about a quarter mile away so we took the machines up there and dug them out of the woods and rolled them and pulled them up the hill but that was about a 12,000 10,000 pound boulder here we are stacking the hill stacking the boulder wall we've got our fabric behind and in michigan we've got real most sites have really good sand and as long as you've got clean good draining sand uh works just fine for boulder walls over here you can see we're starting the steps are going to go up to the house over there and we use a crushed stone this is about a quarter inch or smaller crushed stone there's a quarter inch to about a three quarter inch crushed stone that i kind of like a little bit better but as long as you use crushed stone under there which i prefer gives better drainage better base uh, better to pack than sand and has very less potential to heave uh, even with good draining sand with the frost so you can see the steps going up here these are from new york uh, a natural step stone that we get from one of our concrete manufacturer suppliers here and it's a new york blue stone really natural look i think it looks awesome one of my favorite step products to use just because it's a more natural look and feel to it so you see the drainage pipe from the gutters right there we'll go ahead and bury that conceal that under everything but this is kind of the finished product on this area part of the wall we're going to put stone in on the flat area and grass the top here we are coming from the south looking to the north meeting the steps that we put in already that you saw on, that we just finished so again using the fabric anywhere we can it really just helps keep sand from flowing through the rocks and erosion. Looking to the south, we're gonna steps, are gonna wrap all the way up and around the house there. And I'll get to those in, in additional videos. You can see the stub up pipe, that pipe right there, that two inch is gonna go up and around the hill over to the other building that will connect the septic system from that building there. Flagstone's going in here about two inches thick. This stuff is heavy. We're using the quarter crush stone underneath of it. You can see, the dog has approved and we've got our 25a crushed stone which is about a three quarter to a five eighths half inch stone they did not want grass in there so they chose to use the crushed stone you can see the patio between the steps that we built just to the north there of not the actual patio but we got that in there stone everything you can see the lids are accessible and they're going to do a uh, garden bed out there raised garden beds up to the north in the big open spot so this is the lower part of the wall here and steps going down all the boulder again found it all on site they had a ton of boulder on site which is really cool and it saved them a lot of money because boulders are expensive here in michigan especially all those so it's really what it was on this project and uh, this is super fun there's going to be about i don't know probably two i might do three more videos on this going over all the pictures because there was a lot of work we spent about three months no i'm sorry two months at this job so 
appreciate you guys watching like share and subscribe if you do wish and check you on the next video